update coming up. Can MySpace return to its former glory as one of the world's most popular websites? We'll ask the CEO of Specific Media, which bought MySpace from News Corp this summer. That's after the break on Bloomberg West. Specific Media, an online advertising network, came out of left field to purchase News Corp's troubled social networking site, MySpace, for $35 million this past summer. The follow-up announcement that Hollywood heavyweight Justin Timberlake would help put the sexy back into the social network helped renew interest in the site and its future. Changes to MySpace have yet to be revealed, but joining me now is Specific Media MySpace CEO Tim Vandercook to preview What's ahead? Tim, welcome to Bloomberg West. Thanks for having me. So you were going to unveil the new look in the summer. There were reports it might happen this week, but it still hasn't happened. Why? Uh, we actually did reveal it. We revealed it in a private setting last night to uh, advertisers themselves, CMOs, a group of agency executives, where we wanted them to be a part of the experience when we brought it out to market for consumers. So uh, they got a first inside look of it. We're um, asking for their support and showing them exactly how we'd like to integrate them into the experience. And we're excited to bring it out to market later this year. So what's new and when do we bystanders get to see it? Yeah, so MySpace has one of the best, best brands in the world. So roughly the same amount of people who, who know about Facebook or Twitter know about MySpace and so we we bought an iconic brand in the digital space the second piece is what most people don't really recognize is that MySpace in the music category has one of the best deals ever created we're the only company in the world that has that has uh, done deals with all four major record labels we also have 25,000 independent labels and we have a host of 5 million uh, independent unsigned artists that that where we host all their music so if you aggregate all of our competitors in the music category um, we're more than double the amount of songs that we can allow uh, consumers to listen to. Let's talk about this music aspect. Uh, MySpace co-founder Tom Anderson recently posted on Google Plus. He said the key, three keys to MySpace's growth are communication, photos, and acceleration of communication and photo sharing. Notice I didn't mention music. Lots of people mistakenly think MySpace grew because of music. Obviously, there have been a lot of exciting developments in the music space recently. Turntable FM, Facebook integrating with a lot of these different services. Yep. Can Ra MySpace really bring something new to the table? Well, like I said, if you aggregate all of the companies that Facebook partnered with, we're still double the size in music. And so, and what I mean by that is the amount of songs people can listen to. We're the only company in the world that also has, with all four major record labels and 25,000 independents, the uh, rights to watch music videos on MySpace as well. Um, so I think it's a great category. It's a huge category um, and really hits the target that we're going after, which is the youth. Okay, but people aren't using it, to be to be frank. I yep. mean, users have plummeted 44% right. over the last year. So many brands have fallen to number two and not been able to recover. Friendster, Yahoo, AOL. Why is MySpace going to be any different? Well, I think overall it's about changing the experience. When a consumer hits MySpace right now, the experience is not a good experience, and it's something we acknowledge. Now, we know what MySpace is today, and we plan to change it and address it. That first look and feel, the emotional con connection that a consumer hits when they hit the homepage is, is very, very important. Why not just start over? I think why, why, why buy MySpace at all? Uh, a brand. This is a world where brands are Im more important than ever. And so by starting with a brand where 70% of consumers know what it means on a global basis, that's something that would take billions of dollars in equity to build. But is it a brand that still has prestige? Absolutely. I think the, the reality for MySpace is everybody wants a second platform to come. And the best way I can, I can uh, tell you uh, on what we're doing is Facebook is what I did yesterday. Twitter is what I'm doing right now, and what MySpace will be is what I'm going to be in the future. That is really what we're building from a social perspective, and I think it's going to be key to our differentiation moving forward. Interesting. So i got to ask about JT. I'm That's sure right. you've heard all the cliches. We just use one, bringing sexy back. Yeah. What has he actually done in the last three months to help? JT's involved almost every single day. Somebody on the team is emailing with him. Uh, he's looking at redesigns of the site. He's providing product ideas. He's talking about the types of tools that artists need when the unsigned artists, the signed artists, the superstars, all of these things. He's a very unique individual who's had all of those experiences. But does Justin Timberlake really know how to turn around a business? He does. I, I think overall when you talk with him and you get past the stardom and the fact that he is Justin Timberlake and a superstar, he's one of the smartest individuals I've ever met. Why didn't News Corp tap the expertise of our 
artists out there. I mean, um, I'm sure actually they did, but maybe not Justin Timberlake. Yeah, News Corp was, it was uh, I think when they acquired the business, they were expecting something very different uh, to come out of the business and the pressures, the short-term quarterly profits that need to be generated, um, I think ultimately ended up crippling the business because they couldn't invest for the long term, take the time to do it right. Uh, and everybody got caught in a whirlwind in the Facebook versus MySpace, and they just eventually lost. They didn't have great product ideas, and they didn't develop an experience that consumers wanted. We're here now. Specific Media is here now. A new management team. We've got Justin Timberlake on board. There's lots of great ideas, and I think consumers are going to be excited about the platform here in the, sh in the short term. Well, really great to hear from you about you, you know your vision for MySpace. We'll be watching you guys to see if you can make it happen. Thank MySpace you very much. And Specific Media CEO Tim Vander Cook, thanks for joining us thanks. here on Bloomberg West. All right, coming up.